Hello Zebra Herd, welcome back to Plants vs. Zombies 2. Today, we are moving on from level 16 to level 20, as far as we possibly can in today's episode. Just, just gotta keep going. It's getting tougher and tougher and tougher, but we're getting there. Slowly but surely, as of this level, we're basically almost, if we complete this level, we'll be halfway through. Isn't that crazy? So, <laughs> we're getting there for sure. And then, you know, we'll be done modern day, won't that be cool? We'll be able to check out some other stuff, we'll be done with the adventure mode. But for right now, Zomboss is gonna yap at us. Fools, you've fallen into my excruciatingly obvious trap. My vast and varied array of gargantuars will pummel you into total oblivion. And then I get my taco? Oh no, survive a massive attack in modern day, survive without any lawnmowers. Oh no, I wanna guess, yep, it's every gargantuar imaginable. Oh no. <laughs> All right, well, I start with the frozen melon bolt. Where am I gonna put this? Oh, a couple of them, nice. Okay, I'll get one there. We get a gargantuar from ancient Egypt. That's pretty cool, the first world we went to. Sort of a bit nostalgic. Oh boy. I'm gonna hold off before I plant this other one. Nice, we got him, okay. Gonna get that there, coconut cannon, and it's gonna be super power. That's just fortunate, that's just really fortunate. Um, so I'm gonna have to use those at appropriate times. Oh, so we're just getting a bunch of big hitting plants right now. I'm thinking I'll get this guy here. But I do need something to deal with. Oh, that was in the wrong spot, whoopsies. Oh no, uh, leave that guy alone. Please leave that citron alone. Please leave the citron alone. No, 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 you stinker. I, I used that just against one imp. <laughs> Gotta say, that probably wasn't the best idea. Um, do that. No. Oh, the potato one was supposed to go off. <laughs> oh no, 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 no. This is actually going really bad now. Can I maybe reset it? <laughs> here, because you're gonna be the real problem here. Oh, the guitar. No, the guitar. Gargantuar is gonna be the real, real problem. No, my winter melon. You stinker. Okay, I need to do something about this guy. At all costs. Okay, just barely blocked it. Come on, cannon. I might like, if I lose this, I wanna restart it so that I can keep this. Yeah, here we go, here we go. Knock him back. Chomo's boss. Oh, we got the exploding grape thing. Oh, that's cool. I wanna see more of that. That's such a cool, here we go. We'll get to see more of them right here. Boom, look at that. That is so cool. No, my darn coconut cannon, stop doing that. My gosh. Okay, right here. Knock it back. There we go. I gotta hold on to this until I need it. We're making things work, we turned it around. Oh man, no, stop doing that. Here, do that. So unpleasant. You definitely do that. Make those guys walk over it. I'm gonna launch this at you. That was actually pretty good. I'm gonna hold on to this actually. A huge wave is approaching. And now I can use it on these guys, explode them, but also launch everything else. That was good. Get a cold Snapdragon. Oh, I'm getting a key. Okay, wasn't expecting that. No, 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 no. There goes that cannon. It's gone. Oh, this is also powered up. Nice. Another key. Sort of wish I could have used that a little bit better. Uh, get a repeater, sure, just random plants at this point. Hey, watch what you're zapping. Oh, here we go. Ready for this? Boom, oh, that was nice, okay. Four coconut cannons just aren't built to last right now. There are so many different gargantuars. So many. No, stop doing that. I need another coconut cannon as soon as possible. That's not, that's a pea shooter. What, what, what kind of joke is that? That's such a cruel joke. Okay, oh, here we go, here we go. I guess I'll do this. I mean, I need something here. I probably could have used that against something else. It would've been better. Come on, if I could get one last coconut cannon, I'd be the happiest zebra. Oh, man. Okay, do this here, because I need to get rid of this dude. He's gonna mess everything up. It's not really working. Um, What can I do, what can I do, what can I do? I can do this. I really needed to do that, so that's good. Come on, what if I got rid of these ones? Would it spawn in more stuff for me? Like good stuff? I mean, it's just gonna spawn in more caratillery, which is like, 
or whatever it's called, intensive carrot. Okay, let's do this and jam it out and then do that again, jam it out. That way they can actually, yes, hurt those zombies without actually having to be on the same lane as them. Okay, let's speed things up so I can just get something figured out here, even if it's just that. Get another iceberg lettuce on him so he immediately gets frozen again. Okay, we got him! We survived! Yes! Great Gargling Gargantuar's unleashed a modern day Gargantuar. Man, oh man, that was ridiculous, and I loved it. First level done of the day. Okay, so what do we got in this pinata? It looks like we get 100 coins, four experience for the Moonflower, I need to level that up, four experience for the Nightshade, and that's it. All right, I'll take it. What do we got going on next? Day 17. All right, let's check it out. I don't know what this one's gonna be. I gotta level up that uh, Moonflower first, though. If I can, that'd be best. Oh, got these two again. The Dusk Lobber is yet another Shadow Plant user, Dave. On its own, it lobs exporting projectiles. In its powered state, however, it lobs down three lanes. That's a lane for each of my thumbs and noses. Okay, so two thumbs and a nose, that makes three. Okay, I got it. Um, so yeah, we actually start with the Dusk Lobber. Hmm. So let's get down this way and get that whole combo. Hmm. Maybe Astalia, and before we get started, like I said before, I need to level some stuff up in the Almanac. Going over this way, at least this. And that's gonna up what? It's toughness and it's recharge. The nine, the, the recharge, the nine second recharge, getting a full second, that's actually bigger than you'd think. So I'm glad to have that. I mean, of course, we wanna further improve that as much as we can, but just waiting for it to restore can be the biggest problem. So. Yep, they're gonna talk again. We just read this so we don't have to read it again. Hopefully it didn't forget my plant choices. No, it didn't, okay, cool. Oh, this is concerning still, but I think we can make it work, especially if we put the this, uh, whatever it's called, the thistle in the background. I don't know what it was. No, it's not the uh, home link thistle, that's something else. It definitely is a bit more expensive, but that's where the potato mines come in. We can save up some sun that way. And I can like slow down a zombie if I needed to. Hopefully I won't even need to. Actually, I will. I'll slow him down. I love this music. It's good to hear it again. Okay, we actually already have enough, so I could try it here. It gets powered up. Whoa. That's pretty crazy. Okay. Um. Let's keep it moving. Oh, that is super cool. I love it. So we need to earn up more sun big time. But in the meantime, I can poison you. Get some of that figured out and then get this here. There we go, now you're poisoned too, so you should be taking some more damage. Oh no, 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 I don't like that guy. Don't like him, gonna get that set up. And then we need to boost everybody up a little bit more. Try to get more sun that way. Because we need more purple uh, of the moon guys. Uh, because that will just be very helpful. Okay, this is a problem too. I need to do something about this. Okay, that's gonna help for at least a little bit. There we go, okay, that actually worked. Very good. Now you guys, I'm a little bit more concerned about. But maybe I could, I could even do a banana launcher already. That was a lot of sun really quickly. Okay, that's great. And obviously that's not really where I wanted to put this, but we're sort of like a last second decision. Let's slow you down as much as possible and poison you because that's just what's gonna work, isn't it? Um, I need more sun again. <laughs> I used it all there. Oh man, oh man. Uh, where can I, right here, right here, right here, come on! Okay, it could have been worse. Um, I'm gonna poison you for sure. Gonna maybe slow this group down. It would be great if I could. So I'm gonna replace you and then maybe put you here and put this there. Okay, I need to banana launch these, get this group specifically. I do have enough for another one. I might as well go for it. Maybe that was a little silly to put it like right there in front of the action, but we'll end up seeing how that works. Oh boy. The thistles are great, or whatever these things are called. Slow them down. I got more bananas to use. This is the last of them though. Okay, okay, poison you for sure. Get another banana launch. Banana launch, banana launch. There we go. Let it rain down. 
upon those who try to attack our plants. Okay, we won, no, no, it's sort of. There we go. <laughs> Whenever more show up, I'll be ready for them. But that's all we're waiting for, is just whatever plants. Oh, no, there's zombies. Okay, we did it, and because of that, we unlocked the plant we just used. Very cool, so we get to learn its name properly. Now, it is the Dusk Lobber. Lobs Explosive Buds. Very, very cool, and because of that, we're gonna get a reward from the travelogue. Um, did I ever read that? I guess, I don't know, I don't remember. I think I did. Yeah, okay, two experience. Gonna get it up to five out of 10. Two experience for the Shadow Shroom. That's gonna be a level up, very cool. Yeah, fling explosives at the hungry zombies. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we read that. Next up, we got Unlock Grimrose. Drag zombies to their deserved doom with the Grimrose. Complete modern day, day 23, which we'll be doing in the next episode. We got a lot to deal with around here. Um, first off, let's go to the Almanac and uh, level some stuff up because it's important to do so. For a thousand coins, we can upgrade the Shadow Shroom, which will increase its poison, and that's it. But you know what, its poison's pretty good, so to make it better, sounds like a good deal to me. What else do we got going on around here? It's nothing, no no kind of speculation or sp specification, I don't know, you know what I mean. Um, but there is a surfing zombie, which I'm not looking forward to. For right now, the best thing I can do is get that whole group set up, get that set up as well, and banana, and stally. I'm gonna do the same deal as I did last time. And let's see how it goes. Gonna meet, I'm gonna get a little bit farther back here, so that might have been a little silly to do. We'll find out. I'm gonna try to go as far as I can with this and just hope for the best. So you I can definitely poison and just not have to worry about you. The poison should take you out. Now you two on the other hand, the other hoof, might be a bit more of a problem. So let me slow things down just a bit as I start lobbing stuff over there. I'm gonna poison this guy, but I am starting to run low on sun at a time where it's not appropriate to run low on sun. Will this slow you down? Thank you, I really needed to slow you down. Uh, I need a little bit more sun, come on, come on. Can this get you or what? I don't know, this is actually looking real risky. Let's hope that'll be enough. I don't think it's going to. I'm tempted just to run the lawnmower. Just get it over with. There it is, okay. Um, oh boy. Poison you, maybe. Get that there. Get this here, yeah, that should be fine. Slow him down for sure. Okay, he's gonna angrily slam down his surfboard in protest because he's not a very nice guy. Okay, well now we got the bull, the robo bull. Never fun to deal with. Not now, not ever. Oh no, oh no, I'm not prepared for this. Am I ever prepared for it? The answer's probably no. Okay, let's try this. We haven't tried the plant food for this. So that launches stuff everywhere. They explode everywhere. That's pretty cool. Also, we don't have one down here. Um, and let's do that. Okay, that worked. That worked grand. Very grand. Uh, probably shouldn't have put that there, but it's what I did. I gotta stick to it for now. And that guy's gonna eat that. Okay, well, just let him have his fun for now, I suppose. I sort of can't do anything about it. Um, I'm just gonna get more poison shrooms out wherever I can. Oh boy. This is something else, isn't it? Oh boy. Come on, poison you. Actually did enough to finish you off, so that's great. I'm just gonna get some extra thistles out here. Okay, this is the last set of everything, so. Bananas for you, bananas for you, bananas for everybody. Who wants a banana, you get one for free. It just might also destroy you. And there we go, we survived. We lost two lawnmowers, but I feel like it was a worthwhile thing. Okay, day 18 completed. This is definitely going a lot faster than last episode. <laughs> okay, so three levels done, and two more to go. Oh, hey, what's up? Escape root is a tricky plant user, Dave. When threatened, it swaps in an, in an explosive plant. And if you tap it and then another plant, they will switch places. You can use escape roots to rescue endangered plants. Why? Plants can be endangered? Call the police. <laughs> we are the police in this world, Dave. We are the police. The plant police. So this is interesting. Um, 
Sort of wrapping my mind around it a little bit so it can replace. So I could put this like in a dangerous spot. Do this. And then do this. And then it'll explode. Uh-huh. That's exactly what happens. Well, that's good to know. I probably want to put these guys a little farther out than typical then, so that we can do those little replacements. Probably gonna be our best bet. So maybe something a little bit like that might be good. Oh, nice, he's getting knocked back a little bit. Sort of what we need right now, so keep at it. Keep knocking him back, come on. You can do it, there it is, good job. So I have one of these, I could put it here. That could get very interesting. I could definitely see some interesting strategies come up with this. Hmm. So I really just want all the back lanes populated with these, as many of I, as, as I can. That's what I want. So now I don't have to worry about misplacing plants as much. I definitely wanna use this plant food on this guy to see what that's like, but I'm gonna wait and see how well this goes. Because, oh, I already see how this could get bad, it could get nasty. Right now I'll do this. Uh, Cause I definitely need something to stop this guy a little bit, but oh man, these uh, primal peas are actually great against the newspaper zombies. They really push them back. So I gotta keep that in mind. Well, here we go. I'm so used to this guy having a power up. <laughs> So, like, oh gosh, this guy's catching up. What do I do, what do I do? I could actually keep this nice and simple and do something like this and see how that goes. Will that actually potato mine him, though? Actually, guess not. Oh, 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 oh. there it goes, cool. Oh, so that guy was in trouble. I didn't really do too much there, unfortunately. Uh, in the meantime, just keep things going. Keep it going. Oh my. Okay, so this is where something's in trouble. I gotta do something. So eventually they'll come back? Is that the dealio here? Hit him with that. Okay, there it goes, there it goes. And then maybe I could launch this, put this here. Don't do that. Come on now, that's rude. Is this the, oh, this is the last one. Okay, cool. Um, so really I wanna just put something here that'll pack a punch. Yeah, okay, that wasn't really exactly what I had in mind. Oh, that's not what I, I did the opposite of what I was trying to do there. I'm trying to get this guy to bring him over there. And we're knocking him back, so at least that's good. And anyways, I have some plant food. I never used it against the thing. Oh, well, <laughs> I'll figure it out eventually. I'm sure that's a premium plant or something. Hey, leave that stuff alone. Okay, well, if you're not interested, I'll be interested in beating you up. Okay, there we go, we win. Day 19 done pretty quickly. I'm pretty sure that's a premium plant. Like a gemium or something. Haven't seen that one before though. That's pretty cool. All right, so the last level of the day, we zoomed through it this time. I don't know what happened. Zeva's trip to the modern day, day 20, right? We did 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Um, I mean, maybe it's 19, I don't remember. We'll find out in a moment, but uh, looks like we got some pretty similar stuff, so I'm gonna do all that. And I wanna keep with what I normally do because it works for the most part. I mean, things look a little different here, as you can see. Maybe I should've done a Primal Walnut. That might actually have been a pretty good idea. Hmm. In the meantime, I can definitely uh, make some Potato Mines and Stalias chill out on that, and some of these guys if we need it. We'll have to wait and see. What do we get first? Something over this way, and something over here. It's actually pretty good. I can just like put one over here too. I basically immediately get my son back for doing that, so that's pretty cool. I could get something like that there. There we go. Okay, I need something like this here as pronto as I can make it. Slow you down so that I can do this and then that. There we go, now we're moving. That should help. Mm-hmm, definitely. Can it poison you too? That's not gonna work? Oh, now it will. It definitely will now, right? Eh, uh, sort of. Okay, we got these guys. Actually, they're fine. The potato mines will get them. But in just in case they don't, I got some other stuff ready for you too. Okay, we already got banana dudes. Wanna put them over there. 
I'm trying to keep this stuff for as long as I possibly can. Oh boy. I don't want to use this plant food with the, uh, whatever these things are called in the back. They have a very for easy to forget name. Okay, get a poison over this way, and then I'm gonna do it. Maybe I should have done more to try to poison this guy. I feel like that could have been better. Oh, he's almost down though, he's almost down. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Poison him, poison him. There it goes, no, that's that was not enough. Man, those guys are tough to deal with, and I didn't even see the guy on the bottom, there's just too much. There's too much, use the darn banana! <laughs> come on, dude, what are you doing? Ah, oh, man. Ah, oh, this game is too tough for me. Too tough, just use banana. There we go, that got to basically everybody but the scary guy. Isn't that fun? All right, will that poison him or what? It just stands there. You really can't poison gargantuars for some reason. All right, well, if this is the last one. I'm gonna dig up all that so that I can better situate this. There we go. Because if I just try to poison you right now, it does nothing. It's weird. I don't like it. I'm just gonna slam that away, of course. Come on. Just keep trying to get you. I do just need one more sun, so I'm gonna dig you back up. There we go. Keep hitting him with bananas. Apparently this is one of the highest health gargantuars, is the caveman one from Jurassic Marsh. But we got him! And we get a goopy gross pipe. Ew. You can keep this, I think. <laughs> I don't want it. I don't know, it's probably uh, the endless mode? Has to be. Penny, a random length, length of sewer pipe. Be careful, user Dave. That pipe is part of a municipal mulch of endless engagement. <laughs> oh my. It is the highway to the danger room. Now that is definitely a reference to Garden Warfare. Survive level after level of escalating zombies attack, or zombie attacks. Test your skills in this endless zone. How cool is that? And there it is, highway to the danger room. Wow. I would the danger room is now available. We'll check that out at some point, but not today. Next episode, we'll be moving forward with five more levels of the modern day. As you can see over this way, it's gonna unlock Grimrose. I'm not gonna read it, because I, I don't wanna be spoiled. Still, super duper cool. I'm looking forward to it for sure. But for now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Plants vs. Zombies 2. If you watched this part of the video, make sure you comment Gargantuar Zebra so now you've watched the end of the URA Zebra-tastic viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing to the Zebra. Out of the way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.